Okay, so what I've done is I've purchased uh, one of these servos that actually has the higher voltages. You can see this goes to 6.8 volts as opposed to the original ones that I recommended, which actually don't have a voltage rating on them, but they're listed at 5 volts. So uh, 5 volts, this one works just fine. And at, uh, at this one, since it's a 6.8 volt, we need to get uh, more power to it. So what I did is I simply bought one of these Y adapters. So the power supply through the electronics comes into here. One leg goes into here. The other leg goes into one of these uh, 2.5 or 2.1 millimeter breakouts. Um, I'm then using that to feed a, a 12 volt, or actually it's 24 volts in, any voltage in, uh, to an output. And I've dialed this to 6.78 volts. This is actually a 6.8 volt, so it's just below the limit there. And I'm feeding that into the servo's power and ground. And then the servo's data is actually going back up to uh, the electronics. The middle pin on the six pin header, uh, where we were plugged in before. Um, so that's the signal line, and this is the power. So now it's getting power from here. Uh, so let's go ahead and power this guy up. And we should see... When, there it is. So when it's running, and by the way, that's the metal uh, arm. You can see the, the arm is significantly longer now. And it protrudes a little bit more, but this is actually very high power. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and signal it to change colors. <laughs> the Adventure Five is starting up. Okay, let's go ahead and do a six pulse test here. There, you saw it went and cut. And uh, let's just uh, stick some filament in there. Make sure it cuts that off. It's kind of hard to do with one hand and hold the phone here. So we'll just stick a piece of filament in there. And we'll do six pulses again. And there was it. Sliced it right off. It went somewhere. Oh, it's right underneath the printer there. There you see the piece. Let's try that again so you can see it from the top side. Do another six pulse. There you go. So that uh, seems to have plenty of power to cut. And this is actually running at a 6.76, but you know, it's, it's close. Um, maybe you can get more power if we dial it up a little bit. Let's try. Let's try just a little bit. So we can get it to do it one-handed. It's kind of difficult. All right. So there, I've dialed it up to seven volts on a 6.8. Let's try that again. so you can see it. I'm just going to stick this little piece of cut filament right down inside of there. So we have one piece of cut filament should wind up becoming two cut pieces. And there's our two pieces. Good. So that's uh, that's going to work pretty good. I've, uh, I'll post the link to this guy on there. Really, any of these that sh uh, should work as long as you can dial that uh, that voltage up. So here I have it at 7 volts. If you don't have one of these with the LCD display on it, what you can do is actually just put a voltmeter across here and measure that. Um, put it in DC volts, and you can tune this to get to your 6.8 or whatever your voltage is. You know, whatever your, uh, your serve was actually rated at. I would actually go ahead and set it right at the top. This says it's 20 kilograms at uh, 6.8. There are others that are 20 kilograms at 8, so you would dial this uh, dial this uh, pot here up to, to the output of 8, uh, whatever. Um, so that should take care of any problems that you have depending on, on uh, which server you're actually using here. 
Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Bill at 3dchameleon.com. Thanks.